Hey, thanks for clicking in today. I'm Mr. R, and this is the Rondinelli Project. Today's tackle box tip, brush pile crappies, and how to stay snag free. Well, for the most part, most of these fish are structure oriented. Now, structure can mean a lot of different things like weed structure, down trees, or natural brush from the shoreline. Some structures can be man-made like sunken Christmas trees or handmade crypts. Anyway, structure might mean lots of crappies, but brush piles definitely means lots of snags. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I rig for crappies that are holding tight to brush. So let's go. This is a weight forward offset gold jig hook. I use a tube bait to rig this hook so that it won't hang up in brush when fishing for crappies. And the weight of that jig head is approximately 1 16th ounce. Now, that doesn't mean you'll never get a snag with this rig, but my experience is around 95% snag free. It's pretty reliable, and here's how I rig it. I take a tube bait, hook it through the front of the tube bait, and these tube baits are hollow. So I find the hollow spot in the back of the tube bait and I run that hook up through until it just comes out the other side. And you can feel that hook tip with your finger. And it won't catch on brush, but it's catching on my finger. That'll catch crappy. And that's how you rig that through. This gives me a good cast control. And when I cast in and over brush, I can feel that jig hitting the branches as I work it back through the brush pile. With a little practice, you'll be able to tell the difference between the brush and the fish strike. And since scrappies will hold tight to their cover, this will get you closer to the fish. In this clip, I've marked a beaver house and some brush that holds quite a few crappies. I'm gonna cast right into that and retrieve until I feel the hit. With this jig, it works great. And there you can see I've caught one and I'm bringing it back in. And I've rigged it exactly like you saw in the previous clip. I know this is not a great video, it's just on a GoPro, but I'll show you what I mean here when I pull it out of the water. Now for the most part, it's snag free. Not 100%, but most of the time. In this clip, I marked where I was casting to, to the left of the beaver house, and then I start retrieving back through the brush. I can feel that jig hitting the brush. And right about here is where the fish strikes the jig. That's the hook set. And then I bring it in to the boat. And you can see that that crappy really devoured that jig. This jig setup really works well in brush. Here's a different location on Lake Wilhelm. I've marked the brush piles. There's a lot of brush in here. I mark where I cast. And once again, slow retrieve, set the hook. The main point here is this is a great setup if you have a lot of underbrush and you run the risk of getting snags. It works for me. It'll work for you. Just give it a try. See how it turns out. I know one thing, you'll spend more time catching fish instead of tying on jigs. There you have it. Today's tackle box tip, brush pile crappies, and how to stay snag free for the most part. Remember, this isn't the only way to stay snag free while fishing, but it's one way. Give it a try. I'm Mr. R, and, and, this is the Rondinelli Project. Have a great time in the water. We gone.